Hey, what's up, guys? It is Foster from English Nui Kru. <laughs> Leave it in. Leave it in. Hey, what's up? It is Foster from English Nui Kru. Had you? Of course. <laughs> yes. And today on the show, we are talking about brands, branding. If you don't like business, don't turn it off because I promise it will be interesting. But speaking of brands, we have to talk about Cambly. And today we were talking about eight rules of branding. And rule number three is great brands don't follow trends, they create them. What do you think about that, Alexia? I think that's very, very cool. I think that is amazing because if you think about Cambly, they are not just following the trend. Of normal English classes, normal English school, they are creating a new trend. They are the pioneers of on-demand English classes, and that's why they partner. They partner with us. They partnered with yeah, us. They partnered. Yes, with us. Putting a little English lesson into the advertisement. I like it. You know what I was thinking? Cambly is like Netflix for English. It's on-demand English. Yeah. Boom! That is branding, <laughs> Cambly. Anyway, if you want to try Cambly for free, you can just go to Cambly.com or download the Cambly app on your phone and use the code EnglishNewCrewPodcast to get your first class for free. Okay, let's get on <laughs> with the show. Hey Foster. Hey Alexia, how are you? I'm fine. I just want to say one thing before we start the episode today. Yes, please. Guys, I love you so much. I'm so sorry for yesterday's episode. I'm getting a lot of messages on Instagram and our Facebook group as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, but we couldn't like let this fly away. We could not let it fly away. <laughs> the opportunity of doing an April Fool's joke prank is like a bird. We could not let it fly away. Yes, and it's like I woke up. We did our episode. We recorded our episode, and then I started to talk to my dad, and then I did a prank with him. I let him know, okay, today is April Fool's Day, so be careful. And then he was listening to the <laughs> yesterday's episode and he was so sad about the news and I was like, bye, <laughs> April Fool's Day again. Nossa Senhora, seu pai. Oi, pai. Oi, pai. Alexia, today we are going to continue talking about business, but before we do that, I want to say that I have been talking to some of our students in sound school, asking just for feedback and recommendations. And we heard more than one person say, I love English Nukru Haju, but I really don't pay attention to business stuff like I'm in academics or I just don't, you know, think it's that interesting. So I want to say even to those people, Bruno. <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> Olá, Bruno. <laughs> I promise we will keep the business episodes just as fun as any other episode. I think that is one of the beautiful things we do at English New Crew is we have fun no matter what the subject is. Yes, and today we are talking about a thing that I love that if I could choose anything to really study nowadays and take a, a master's on that. Yeah, I would say to do a master's in that, perhaps. To do a master's in that would be branding. Yes. I love it. I think that, that it's very interesting and it tells a lot about our modern world as well. Yes, yes. So, Alexia. I have good news for you. Mm. You have better than a master's in branding. You have the opportunity to create a brand all by yourself for English. Take that. Colleges of the world, take that. 
Yeah. You don't have to pay $100,000 for an MBA. No, I got to teach the other people. I am the teacher here. Yeah. <laughs> I already paid for the MBA and it did not help me learn too much about branding. But MBA is totally different. Totally different. But, but staying on track with the subject, we are going to talk about my MBA today because we are going to talk about one of the few books that I found very interesting that I read during business school, and it is called What Great Brands Do by a nice lady named Denise Lee Yan. I believe that's how you say it. So more or less, she just gives eight principles of things that all really great iconic brands like Nike, Walmart, any big successful company in the world, they all tend to do these things, okay? The North Face, which I am the biggest fan nowadays. The North Face. Yeah, Alexia the North Face. Alexia recently acquired <laughs> a new jacket and is very happy. <laughs> yes. So, can I read the first one? Yes. Can I say one more thing? Yes, please. So, today I think we will just have time to read the first three or four, but I want to make it interactive so we can read one of the rules. We always try to be really transparent here at Inglés Nui Cru. So part of this process is simply Alexia and I talking about <laughs> branding on air, live in public to try to help build our brand because we never know what we are doing and we need your help. So we're doing this stuff live. And we never know until we try it. So Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do it. Point number one, Alexia, you can read it. A brand is the personality... Nossa, foi horrível. Meu Deus. Oh, my God. <laughs> A brand is the personality... The pers What's happening? I don't know. You just woke up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. A brand is the personality... Yeah. A brand is the personality... Mm-hmm. Of a business. So let's go again. A brand is a personality of a business and it should guide a company's every action. Okay. So just for clarification, because Alexia is having some technical difficulties, <laughs> let me read. A brand is the personality of a business and it should guide a company's every action. What do you think about that? What are your first impressions? Yeah, like... When we created English in Crew, we had to think about it. Yeah, we didn't really think about that. Only. I did. Mm. Of course we did. Foster, how we couldn't have thought about it? How couldn't we have thought about that? How could, could no, could not have yeah. th thought about it. Remember question word, verb, no. always. How couldn't we have thought about that. Yeah, I said it right. I think, to be honest. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, so we thought about it. Yeah, I'm just saying we did not formally sit down and say, okay, team meeting. A brand is a personality of the business and everything that we do must be perfectly aligned with the brand. We said, no, I teach English. I want to do podcasts. Let's do this thing. Yes, but <laughs> for example, when... Our first sponsor sponsorship came to us, asking to be partners and things like that. We only said yes because it's part of our personality. We wouldn't have said yes if it was something that we didn't believe at all. Okay. So I think that we did that pretty well with all the products that we have and how to sell our um, online, English, cars, and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, this first point for me is quite vague um, because we're just beginning the book. So when you say the personality of a business and it should guide all of your actions. It's us. Think about it. Yeah, but when I'm thinking about bigger companies, like, what are you, are you talking about, like, values? Are you talking about rules? It's a little bit amb ambiguous for me. Yeah, so big companies are always very, very hard to understand because they grow very fast. 
and they kind of get lost in the middle of the the way as well sometimes but i mean their essence is there so okay i think that is a highly debatable subject but that is for another time so point number two alexia would you like me to read it or you to read it oh well go for it <laughs> great brands build an emotional connection with the customer okay can i give you two corrections Alexia is literally giving thumbs up, like, <laughs> I did it. And then she recognizes, oh, I'm going to give corrections. No, no, I, I was giving thumbs up because I do agree with that a lot. Uh, and it's what I do every single day as well with our students and everyone who listens to us. Okay. It wasn't about my English. I mean. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, great brands build. Can you say that word for me? Build. Yes, build. You want to exaggerate that final L sound? Build. Great brands build. Yeah, so you do not want to make a circle with your mouth. The first time I heard you say build, build, and that sounds very Portuguese, like milchu, but you want to say build. Great brands build. Excellent. And emotional connection with the customer. I said that right, customer. Okay, again, you did not say it right. This is o som do schwa. Really relax and say, uh, ca. Customer. 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 Okay, you're almost saying customer. You're a little too open. Customer. So just try to relax. And say customer. Customer. Nice. Much better. Much better. Okay, so apparently, Alexia, you are very excited about this one. Tell me why. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. What does... <laughs> okay, please explain. Okay. Um, nowadays, it's all about interaction, right? It's all about brands interacting with you. So, if I'm going to buy shoes, I'm going to go to an online store or I'm going to go to the store, physical store, And I'm gonna buy it. Why? Because first, I like the brand. I like how they interact with me and why, what they sell for me. And this has a lot to do with number one, the point number one. Because of the brand personality and the interaction that they have with me, I like the brand. Okay, so... I think you are bringing up two issues here, which are a little confusing to me. One is, so the second point is brands build an emotional connection. And then you are really talking about interaction and engagement, mm -hmm. which I think could be two slightly different things. Like, for example, Walmart. They don't really engage with you apart from sending like commercials on her TV that you see all the time right? But somehow they create an emotional bond with you. When you hear Walmart, you think about something. Yeah, but let me, let me try to explain this a little bit. Like Walmart, it's not my favorite brand, okay? I go to Walmart because sometimes they have the best deals there, right? The brands that I love, they have an emotional connection with me. Right. So that's the difference. Like I can go to Walmart to buy stuff because I know that they have the best use, but I don't have an emotional connection with Walmart. Yes, that is the difference that I was trying to make, that I believe you still have an emotional connection, which is just, yes, if I need the best price, there's something deep down that I, I know Costco. about Walmart. That or Costco, <laughs> that they have the best prices. So they have created an emotion within you, but it may not be as direct as some of your more favorite brands. Yeah, in this case, it's financial emotion. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay, let's do point number three, and then we'll call it a day. So great brands don't follow trends, they create them. Yeah, nowadays it's very mixed match this what do you mean mix match like 
a lot of brands they copy each other the the way that they sell things the way that they announce things the the way that they do the mailing mailing list and things like that but your products they have to be unique that's what makes a difference between brand A and brand B right so when we created English and Crew we thought about it like what's our different show yeah and or it would only be one more podcast and one more English course English course 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 is another thing yes English course so English course. I think I think this is a true thing. I think it is a little bit of a cliche nowadays because we hear the words so much like trendsetters, innovation, disruption, you know. Influencers. Right, influencers. Yes, so the idea of creating new trends, I believe that everything is some version of copying something in the past. Even the most innovative products and companies and ideas are built upon ideas before them. So I'm not sure how much I agree with this point. I had a, a professor in college they, that would always ask us that, like, if it's, I would say that, not ask us, but um, if, it, if, it, if it is a good idea, everyone wants to copy If it's not a good idea, no one cares about it. So, this is a, the main problem about marketing and exploring and <laughs> selling things. Because you had to be a trendsetter to just to sell another differential. But at the same time, everyone is doing almost the same thing. Every now and then, and every day, every day, every day, how can you do the differential without, like, copying or yeah. being much like the other brands? Okay. So, just one thing to end. You're saying the word differential a lot, which we do say in English, but in this context, I would not say that. I would say, how do you make yourself different or how do you differentiate yourself? But we really don't say differential. Why? Just as a noun? Yeah, diferencial. O seu diferencial é... Yeah, normally we would say your competitive advantage or your core competency. It's just not a normal thing for us to say when we're talking about business. Interesting. Why? I do not know why. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I simply enforce them and then break them. <laughs> okay, so here's my thought about number three. I just said it. Everything. I said everything. Oh, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So we are done. Uh, we'll see you guys <laughs> tomorrow. The show is over. The microphones are still on. Turn off the mics, Alexia. Turn off the mics. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of English no Kuruhaju. If you like what we do, if you want to support the show, here's what you can do. Leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Android, wherever you listen to the podcast. It really helps other people discover the show. And you can sign up for our VIP newsletter. So each time we release new courses, early discounts for Sound School, new worksheets, special discounts, The people on our newsletter are the first to know. So if you are interested in the things we are doing, go to EnglishNewCrew.com and sign up. And as always, keep up the good fight and lose well. Até já.